Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. Hey, what is going on, my fellow YouTubers? Welcome to another challenge, and it's the Clinch Only Challenge. And this goes out to my good buddy, Isaac Mead, who sent me this request. And the thing is, by the way, I'm Daniel Cormier. With the Clinch Only Challenge, I'm going to say try not to punch or kick excessively. You could set up your clinch by throwing a punch or two, but you got to finish the fight in the clinch. Go for that KO in the clinch. And you need to be sneaky with it. As you see here, I'm Corbier. I got to be sneaky with it because if you spam that clinch, your opponent's just going to push you away. So I'm just moving around, doing the dodge rooney right here, looking to pick my spot right here. And the guy that's using John Jones. Oh, come on. That was over dramatic there, Cormier. But the guy that's using John Jones is really looking to take my head off and yeah i'm picking my spots oh man he kind of pushed me away pretty easily right there <laughs> so now that it's in its head it's in his head that i'm going for the clint so i got to be very very careful and pick my spots like i said so let's see what i could do so this guy is connecting just got to back away yeah, here we go. And this is where now I could throw some punches, soften them up. <laughs> and already, you know what's crazy? This guy's trying to transition. Good on him for pushing me away. I'm going to try to get back in there. But he's trying to transition. And to block those transitions, you can just punch. <laughs> and then it's just sucking the life out of him. Look at his energy. And I'm just feeding him the knees, tickling that belly with some knees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's waiting for something. What is he waiting on? And he's stunned. Oh, he blocked my kick. Yeah, no, if I... You can't win this challenge by throwing kicks that are not in the clinch. But I'm still okay. I'm still okay. Back in the clinch. You could tell that this guy's clinch game is not his strong suit. And it does really help that I have Cormier already. Look at his energy sucked right out. And he's pushing me away. And I just got to continue putting on the pressure. He knows it's coming. And all he's doing is pushing me away. I got to do a better job. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to reach for him. Trying to get that slow dance. <laughs> just trying to reach for him. Oh, down he goes. Could it be over? Oh, and he's still alive. When you're using John Jones, you know you're going to stick around. But this guy, I could already feel people that his clinch game is very suspect right now. And he's just taking it in. It's kind of like he's folding. Oh, oh, and he's down. Oh, I hit him. Luckily, he didn't go down. Luckily, he didn't go down. And you know what? I didn't even mean to hit him. Oh, baby. And down he goes. And I give him a smell to the head. Smell my feet. And it's over. It's over. Did you notice how after I gave him those knees right there, I took my smelly foot and I said, smell this. Smell my foot. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a challenge victory. Once again, you got to just finish the fight in the clinch. But try not to set up the clinch with too many, you know, takedown attempts or wild punches and strong strikes. But you could throw a couple punches if you want. And that's what I did right there. What a great little challenge. It's hard if a guy's good at the clinch. It's easy if a guy's terrible in the clinch. Anyhow, people, thanks Isaac Mead for the great challenge. Thank you again for all your amazing comments. Don't forget about the 5K giveaway. You guys are the best. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.